Warning, the following video is pure awesomeness. Recorded late at night, under the influence of caffeine. Now welcome your host, Saul Espinoza, and special guest, David Espinoza. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is David. Should I reveal my last name? Uh, I did. You're my brother, so... Wow, now you just gave that away. Anyways, I'm David Espinoza, not brother... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not brother of Saul. So, how do Because we call you Saul. Saul Espinoza. We call you Saulito. I mean... Well, some people are starting to call me Peter, so... For a middle name. That's Pete, some people. Pedro. That's some people. I call you Saulito. Okay. We call you Saulito. Um, anyways, so we just, well, this, I kind of decided or told you that we should do this because I just drink like a really huge cup of coffee. I'm not used to drinking coffee, so I guess I'm super hyper or whatever. I'm not a very talkative guy. This is one of the rare moments where I'm, well, when, when I'm with you guys, I talk a lot and about random things too. Okay. That's one of the reasons I don't talk. It's just okay, we'll just ask simple questions. Well, I was trying to introduce myself as a person. Well, yeah. Saito, who, who are you? Who who are you, Saul? Saul. Saulito, no? What do you like to be known as? Because uh, I think I, I think names are important. Okay. Well, like, you get a certain sense of a person. I mean, if, like, I'm at the gym and somebody calls me Saulito, I mean, I wouldn't really like that, <laughs> but, like... So I mean, he, what do they call me? They call me Saul or Saul. Yeah, I think that's okay. Saulito, the but tormentor. Like, for like my family, I think it's Saulito. Saulito, the danger. Or Saulito, the destroyer. <laughs> Saul, the de Saul, the destroyer. What sounds better to you? Saul. Saul in Spanish. Or, so yeah, Saul. That's my name. Okay. Hi, but you guys can call me Saul. Saulito. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I feel like I know nothing about you. Who are you? Who is I Saulito? Am a person, a human being. Okay. That was sent to this planet. Well, just tell me things about destroy. you. Destroy. I'm just kidding. Um, I like drawing. And so you're talking to me about things you like. Okay. I like eating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like working out occasionally. Eat big, get big, <laughs> or whatever. However and it goes. I like making podcasts. Well, I guess that's a new hobby. You know what? We can tell things. You know what? I have an idea. I think it's harder. It's harder to talk about yourself. It's easier to talk about other people. Okay. So I'll talk about you. You talk about me. Okay. Who wants to go first? You go first. Okay. I mean, I could. I could say a lot of things about you. Good things, bad things. A lot of bad things. Like that. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just start with good things. So, you know, you know, make a good first impression. I guess. Okay, you're good. You're a hard worker. You're disciplined. You're uh, extremely humble. Extremely. <laughs> it's you surprise me how humble you are each day. I wake up, and I see you. You know, flexing in the mirror. And <laughs> I'm just like, wow, this one humble guy. <laughs> Like, I, I, I wish I were as humble as you are. Anyways, and um, you're devout. Uh, I pray the rosary. You try to do spiritual reading. A lot of times when I'm feeling lazy about things, especially, like, in regards to our faith, you know, you, you kind of challenge me. And also on a physical level, if I'm feeling lazy to go to the gym or whatever, then you're like, you call me out. So that's good and annoying, but it's good. <laughs> and you're, re you're really talented. I know that. I know that. And and you're you're constant too because me I would draw when I was younger. I feel like <laughs> as if we need to talk about this with each other. Anyways, when I was younger, I would draw a lot, but and then I'd I'd be very incons inconsistent. I was I'm kind of like a random guy. You're kind of like on on focus or on point. I mean, you're determined. And so like when you put your mind to something, you you start to get really good at it. And this is one of those things. This is podcasting. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how fast they do get good. Okay. So that's a good thing. So that's um, one percent about your whole about you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The rest is bad. So first you're trying to bring me up, just to bring me down hard. 
Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I could. I mean, <laughs> it's pod- I mean, it's just, it's just conversation. It can go any way. So you're determined in everything. And, and like I said, it, it can get annoying because since you're so determined, you're stubborn. And at times, even when you're wrong, since you're so determined, you persist in what... <laughs> In something that you're so wrong <laughs> So that's one of the... One Is of there the examples? Examples. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I can't think of anything on the spot, but just like... Yeah, I can't think of anything on the spot, but like, for example, let's just say that you remember something that I did, which I didn't do. Like, oh, I remember you... you gave me a shirt. Yeah, there you go. That's a good example. <laughs> you gave me a shirt on this day, and you said this, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I did not say that. Well, I mean, but... Okay, because we're talking about... An actual shirt that I let you have, and I for- there are times that I forget that I gave it to you, but then when you remind me, I remember. So I'm stubborn too, that's the problem with, with you and I is that we're both stubborn, so that's why when our, our paths cross, do they cross often? The thing is, when we do, it, it's just war, it's straight out war. And it's fun to me, like, I like... I mean, watch it's, it's not, it's like, it's not and, like super bad. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously we're not throwing... Mo- a lot of times we're just playing around. Yeah, we're playing around, but like, like if people see us play around, they, they wouldn't see it as playing around. They you just... see like a 200 pound man <laughs> beating up a 160 <laughs> pound man. I'm not 160. 70. I'm 170. Sure. And actually I'm two. It's like dogs. I, like, especially me, because I am i didn't grow up with, you know, with pet dogs or anything. So there, there, you know, there have been times, especially when I was younger... Where it's like, I get freaked out because they're, you know, the dogs are kind of like growling or whatever and uh, kind of like, like play fighting, but in my mind, they look like they were fighting, but it's just how they play. <laughs> it's just, it's just, uh, darn dogs. And, um, so yeah, that's what you and I are. We're darn animals. We're animals, man. <laughs> so when people, so I, I noticed this, yeah, when people see that, they, as if many people see that, <laughs> but when it, when it does happen, it's kind of like, whoa, but it, you know, we're playing around. Obviously, like, for example, when dogs fight, play fight, you know, like, one kind of, like, like oversteps a little bit, and then becomes a little bit of a fight, you know? Never to the point of, like... like beating each other up or anything? Yeah, like... Yeah. Or actually fighting? Well, we do fight, physically, but, like, yeah. not not when we're angry. <laughs> Let's clear that up no, right now. Somebody's gonna, like, take we, it out we, of context. We fight responsibly, okay? Kids? Like, in a fight, gym. Fight responsibly. With, with gloves... With hand wraps, with shin guards, with mouth, mouth. Wait, did I say mouth guard? No, I don't think so. I've talked a lot, man. I have so much coffee in my okay. What about in my the, veins? The rest? Is there anything else, or do I start with you? Um, I don't know. You can go any which way. I could talk. I could talk more trash about you. Okay. I mean, it's, that's just fun for me. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like okay, talk more. It, trash. You know what? It's my pastime. My favorite pastime, and it is yours too. It's to make fun of people. To make well of each other. I mean, to make fun of people. Yeah, I mean, that's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> but especially, that's, that's especially why, each other that's why it's hard we're very competitive yeah i think the reason why it's hard for us to talk sometimes like when we're talking to other people like to be funny it's hard for us to be funny oh. in front of other people because yeah we're always making fun of each other or yeah so like like yeah like most of our comedy is kind of like making fun of people <laughs> slapstick humor like i don't know like um like you're on the freeway and you see somebody in their car doing something funny and or who looks weird <laughs> or whatever and you start making you know like jokes about them <laughs> whatever it could be anything like it could be anything and it could be the most extraordinary thing like yeah you can take one action that somebody <laughs> does and turn it so many different ways which is something that you're way better at me like Scenarios. well making fun of people <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i guess yeah. Well, I feel like when I can start joking with somebody, it takes a while to get to know the person. But if it's like a group of friends, then like you never get to know almost anybody. Like you have to just talk to one person. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to do like group things. Like yeah, like get to know people in a group. Kind of like yeah, I don't know. Usually when I get to know people, it's kind of like we have the same interests, especially like when it's about sports. I think the the way we bond more with people is when we do sports with them. Yeah. Or just hard work, and they gain... And we start respecting them more, I guess. Well, I guess, like, we find a lot in common with people who play hard. <laughs> <laughs> they actually get... <laughs> no, not hard to get. Not hard to get, but... I mean, who are tough, you know? Yeah. Not to say that we're, like, the toughest people out there, but, like, you know, people who kneel for the rosary. People who, you know, can take a punch in the gym. 
you know, things like that. Okay, well, I guess it's my turn since you couldn't think too many bad things about me because I'm <laughs> such a saint. Oh wow! <laughs> like I said, humble man. <laughs> You're, like put your face on a post on a poster and just like write humility. I know the perfect picture Be- because of how your face looks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, well, I guess with you, I'm going to start with the bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, can't. Well, thank you, I'll start with the good. Very much like you to start with the bad. Anyways. With you, I mean, I guess you're really good at explaining. Stop, stop there. Okay, mm-hmm. move move on to the bad stuff. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, just go. Okay, fine. I'll say bad things about you first. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, you are... Uh... Oh, man, you're good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, popcorn. You're an angry person. Yes, That's I for sure. <laughs> you get... Annoyed easily, you. Wow, uh, I mean this. The main thing. <laughs> There's nothing else wrong with me. So I, I mean, just. I, I feel like. So like like I have one big problem, but I don't I don't have many problems. Because here's the thing. Uh, like, I was like you like all of a sudden, you're like really happy, and you're happy for the whole day. So you're either really happy for the whole day, or you're really mad for the whole day. Wow. So that's just how you are, and I mean. Things. Well, I get stressed easily. And so that puts me oh, like in, in like a, a disposition disposition to be annoyed. So like if I have something to do and somebody's in the way and I'm already stressed about a bunch of stuff, I just like, I just have to be, I don't know what, what do you see me as when that happens? Oh, to me, I just laugh because it's just funny to me when you're angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that makes me more angry <laughs> when you laugh. Okay. Well, I guess I can't really think of anything else. I mean, I can think of stuff. Well, yeah, of course. Let's see. You kill people? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You're just, a murderer. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I guess I just go to the good things. Unless you have bad things you want to tell me about yourself. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the good things. You're very good at explaining yourself. And, you know, you're very good with, like, paragraphs and <laughs> sentences. <laughs> wow. They very interesting. Okay, well you tell can, me more about this you can person. Set up, you can set up a talk in like well now before it used to take a long time for you to set up a talk. I mean they were really good, but now they're same quality. Same quality, but you do it like in thirty minutes now, or an hour. But with me, it takes a really long time to think of a topic at first, you know. And we're very creative. You have good cartoony voices. <laughs> And I don't. I, don't well, I guess you. You know what? I guess you have a good thing about like whenever I feel like doing like like playing a lot of video games or a lot of TV. Whenever uh-huh. I see that you get like I'm like annoyed about it. Or whatever. Annoyed about you know so much TV and you know so much video games. It makes me not feel like watching TV anymore mm. or playing video games. Which is a good thing. I haven't been listening to that lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at impressions though. You said earlier that I have good cartoony voices. Like voice mm. acting kind of thing, I I can't do impressions though. I I cannot do it at all. I I used to be able to. I was better impressionist. Is that what you say? Is that the word? Well, you just haven't been practicing at all. <laughs> Cause I I guess I could do impressions, but it's only like a certain group of people, crazy people or creepy people that I could do, like impressions of like Joker. Oh, I mean I'm starting to try to do his voice a little bit, but it's not that good. But Gollum is like my best. Do some Gollum for us right now. Is it really late, Matt? I don't know. We we'll just do it. Do it into the microphone. <laughs> just say like, <laughs> my love, my precious, oh my love, my love. I, wait, what does he say? Precious, my precious, whatever. My love, my precious, <laughs> my bro. Wait, <laughs> my voice is messed up. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with you. <clears throat> that sounded good still. I think I'm getting sick, actually. Don't say wow. that, it's like the COVID season. COVID season <coughs> forever. <laughs> okay. My Brussel! <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. I'll do it next time. If we ever do this again, yeah, okay, okay. remind me in the comments. Comment below if you want Salito to dress in a loincloth <laughs> and do Gollum impressions. Okay. He'll yeah, do I don't know. I think I've been leaving the window open in the nights or something. So like you have a, a sore throat, whatever. No, it's starting. It's starting. It's not COVID, okay? I haven't got tested, but <laughs> it's not COVID. <laughs> uh, skip. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this part off. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, if I had an editor, I would tell my editor 
to just get. You know what? I could be a good editor. Well, yeah, but you never have time. I guess. Well, That's yeah, no, another bad thing about you. You never have time anymore. I never have time anymore. <laughs> wow. I've never had time. But I think it's because I'm so disorganized. That's another thing about me. Because you're... I don't know. Well, with me... In... Like, like, it's weird because we have our, our, our... Both our... We're like organized in our own ways and we're also disorganized in our own ways. Give an example of yourself or me. Like, for, example, for example, waking up early? Mm-hmm. I can wake up early. <laughs> Waking up early? <laughs> you can't wake up early. Or at least... Well, I've, been, I've been trying to... You've been trying your... But especially that now, it's super, super, super late. I'm not even going to say what time it is. I'm not going to wake up early. I'm going to try to wake up early. But, yeah. Hopefully we wake up early. We have stuff to do tomorrow morning. Anyways. Yeah. And then? Oh, well, just like... Like, um... I don't know. Like, if I'm planning to do something... Like, my goal is like, oh, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to finish this today. Whatever. I, like, <laughs> take long to start it. <laughs> and so, if I do end up working on it, it's um not going to be for too long. You, however, you're like, okay, I have to get this done. So, like, I'm, so you're just thinking about that one thing. So then you just do that one thing, and then you're and then you're doing it, and then you you work on it for a long time, and then you're done. But like that's not me. No, uh, and then I I'm, I'm I'm disorganized in that way. Where I'm, I get distracted. I, you know I'm a very distracted person. With me, but I can be focused too. With me, I in my own I, way. In, in I don't my, know. My, Maybe I, it doesn't make sense. I sort of unconsciously, or how do you say it? subconsciously? I mean, <laughs> unconsciously. <laughs> <laughs> Sub- I subconsciously I don't know yeah I think that's a word just say I it. subconsciously think my day out how it's gonna go and cause what gets me in a bad mood the most like gets me angry people getting away your plans yeah that's me too though well yeah but the thing is that I have everything set for the whole day exactly, what I'm gonna yeah. do yeah, yeah. you only have like one thing me have I did my my thumb. I have only one. Th- you have only one thing. I have you like, only have one thing. I have my whole day set up in my mind, already. Dang. I just have. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what it is. You're kind of like, you have it sp- like specifically in your mind what you're gonna do. Me, I have like in general. Like in general, I want to do this today. Mm-hmm. And then once I see that's not a possibility, then I like freak out. I'm like, what am I gonna do then? So then I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, uh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. So then I end up either just reading or, like, you know, YouTubing, watching Saint Chai or whatever. <laughs> well, who's Saint Chai? I to explain. Saint Chai is Muay Thai, a Thai fighter. Uh, I guess goat, whatever. Goat? Greatest of all time, goat. Oh, yeah. Thai, Thai guy, yeah. Almost greatest of all time. Who's Minister. better? I don't know. Uh, Bulka versus Saint Chai. Who wins? They did a sparring session, actually. Sparring, but sparring is sparring. Yeah. I mean, I think Bulka. I mean, he's already getting Bo- older. Bulka is like he's skinny, but he's muscular. Yeah, and he's already getting, but he he's younger than Saint Chai. I think he's like I don't know if he's in his prime. I don't think he's in his prime right now, but he's like. He's not that far. I mean, I think he's still pretty good. I think he'll be able to beat Senshai. Buka? Yeah, I mean, unless Senshai trains really hard. And, you know, because Senshai's not going to be as fast as he was in his prime. If they fight. I mean, but if you're saying both of them in their prime, Senshai's going to win, for sure. I think. Well, the thing about Senshai is not about speed. It's about... Well, he's fast, but I mean... It's not even about... It's more, it's more, about, more about IQ. Yeah, IQ. And it's not even about... Strength either because Boca is really Boca strong. Boca is like powerful. He's not. Yeah. He, I mean, he has IQ, but, but he, I mean, and he's not the fast either. Yeah, he's more power. Yeah, more power and more technique, I guess. Power and endurance. Mm-hmm. He has a lot of stamina. Yeah, he can keep going, keep going. He's like a like an immovable object. It's like I don't know. What were we talking about? About me getting angry when I... Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> when things <laughs> when things get in the way of my plans, I guess. Yup. Man. You're like a big bulky Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say the word. <laughs> I was, just, I was just gonna say fart, but <laughs> I don't know if that's I've, nasty. I've been, I mean, I mean, I've been trying to control myself to say more. I think, I mean, yeah, because I feel like before I would say everything, but now I just keep it to myself. You mean you say everything that you th- that you're thinking? Like, I mean, what I mean is like when I would get angry, I would tell people I'm angry. I would make it more noticeable. <laughs> but now I feel like I just. Uh, stay quiet or what? I stay quiet about it. Not, not to me. Some things. Not to me, because I know you especially. Oh, we, yeah, I'll tell you things, for sure. Like if I'm, I feel out of out of or be, between, between you and I, I think I'm nicer. Maybe. You don't think so? Oh uh, yeah, I guess you may be a nicer person. <laughs> <laughs> I I, don't I know. guess. I mean, maybe. you would have to ask people, cause I would say, yeah, you're you're nicer than me, but who knows? Maybe I, I think I'm. Maybe I, 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 I think I no. I think I, I act nice, But I'm too nice. I think I'm too nice. You mean like? And for you, you're like too cold. Like to who? <laughs> <laughs> don't I don't, don't want to give specific examples. Well, I'm not cold. Okay. Well, just like just like this. Like for you, for you, there's like no compromise. There's no compromise. For me, there is compromise. Compromise for what? Like, you know, like with plans or... It's hard to say because cause I do... I do get very stubborn about, like, plans. Oh, yeah, but it's when you really want them. But with I, I me... Just, yeah, with I, me... With, with it's when you really want them, but with yeah, me, it's just anything that I was planning to do, even if I didn't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Yeah, that's complete. That's true. That's right. For me, for me, it's only like if I'm really, really thinking about it and I really want this thing. But you, it's like for whatever, man. What do you have planned? And it's destroyed. Like, with that, yeah. You're done. You're explosive. I go, but I don't like explode no, or you don't, anything. No, no because yeah. you're a human being. <laughs> 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 so even if I lit you on fire, you wouldn't explode. <laughs> No, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like we're better than we were before we started working out. A lot better. No? What do you mean? Better at... As in controlling our temper and can, you know... Yeah, I think I was more explosive before. I think I I have... (laughs) Like you would punch the pillows when you were angry? (laughs) Punch the bed? Yeah, that was my thing. Oh, dang. Did it really stop? What were we saying? Oh, that before we started working out, that I was more explosive. Mm-hmm. Do you think you were more explosive before working out? Yeah, but, I feel but like what, it's because I was actually like twelve. Like, I mean, I think we you started, were twelve before. No, <laughs> what, I think we started when I was thirteen, like working out. I uh-huh. think, like, actually trying to be consistent in working out. Yeah, you were thirteen. So at that time, I was like a, a complaining age. Like, I feel when kids. Man, you complain so much. <laughs> when oh kids, my gosh, salute. Wait, wait. When kids reach the age from 10 to like 13, that's when like they start, I feel, uh, start getting more complaining or more uh, sensitive. <laughs> you just called yourself sensitive. And well, yeah, I was sensitive. I remember I would get, <laughs> I, I would cry for the smallest things. Not at 13, but like at 11, <laughs> especially. <laughs> You're a complainer, man. I just remember... I mean, remember when we started working out? <laughs> I would get mad for horrible. the smallest things, right? Hor- it was horrible, man. <laughs> hey, but you would get mad at me for I the mean, smallest I mean, I don't know if too. I should... Thank you for being my purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> because, no, I mean, I, I le- with being with you, man, I learned. I learned to be patient. Yeah, that's how it like, is. It, it's amazing. I'm the most patient man on earth, and also the most humble. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? I think we're more. Ex- well, I think we were more, expl- more explosive before. Well, I guess that's what you were tapping into—is that we were younger, mm-hmm. too. 
So we were, we were younger. We were younger and we were put through very stressful events. <laughs> yep. Like we had to grow up like super fast. Yeah. During those times. And, and now I'm looking at I'm looking at it now. We were raised by wolves. <laughs> no, like, we were left in the forest I to mean, die. It, it was stressful to us at the time, but now I do this. I do that almost every day now. Like what I did when our mom was pregnant from our, our second youngest sibling. I thought you were going to say son. <laughs> <laughs> second youngest sibling. Well, my mom, my mom was really sick. Um, so we had to basically, I mean, I had to go get her food. <laughs> from the restaurant because she my, wouldn't, my she wouldn't eat anything else. Huh. Yeah, I mean, whatever she was craving that day, I had to go get it. And then sometimes when I brought it back, she wouldn't like it. And my before that, before that uh, pregnancy, my older brother would do the same thing. But now it's my oh, turn. Yeah, but it wasn't... I feel like it wasn't that bad. Well, it wasn't that bad. Oh, wait. Or maybe it wasn't that bad on us because Anthony was there, I guess. You know? I, well, at the, but at the same time, we were going to public school. So oh yeah, so we're obvious, we're done. obviously oh, we're, yeah. we weren't going to be doing much, but but in this case we're homeschooled. Yeah, and I have to get mommy food on my longboard, and um, and then we had to clean the house every day and clean. cook. We we're just doing a a project. It was just a painting project, but like, like with our dad. So like, we we're cleaning, cooking, cleaning, cooking, working, painting. working on a project. And so, doing school and getting the kids school ready for their homeschool. Yeah, <laughs> but now like, I mean, I I feel like we had to go through that. Or also, I mean, like how I am doing now, I'm doing pretty much almost all that except for going to the restaurant to buy something for mommy. As well, you weren't doing that before either. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, what I did at that time, I'm doing now because mommy has to has to carry for the youngest sibling mm-hmm. so i had to clean still and yeah but i mean i mean it's not as i don't know the thing is we were younger yeah we weren't well that's what i'm saying we that used it, to it helped us learn yeah helped because we wouldn't clean at all yeah we wouldn't we wouldn't do any chores or anything we were selfish <laughs> selfish I mean, we're so selfish but i mean like <laughs> um <laughs> hello don't drag me under the bus <laughs> Anyways, um, that experience helped us uh, get more disciplined, develop a sense of responsibility. You know, like the world doesn't revolve around us. It's not like we're just staying at home watching TV while we're being fed and mm-hmm. and forced to do small things here. In the, no, in that case, helped us realize, oh, wait, everything's about the family. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you got to take one for the team all the time. Like, like that's what you're for is, is for for your family to serve your family, on a spiritual level and on a physical level. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Like, imagine if we never ever got discipline to be able to clean and everything and go through that. What we went through when you know our mom was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> let's just not say. Let's just say when Joseph came. <laughs> okay, when Joseph came. Well, then I wouldn't be able to draw. You know, because I'd be so busy. You know, I think. You know, it would be. You'd have a different perspective. Yeah. You, you'd think that because because you'd be I'd be so, just wanting to watch TV. You'd or be so whatever. busy watching TV that that you'd be too busy to draw. And yeah, because now like now I can do everything that I need to do, and um, and I could go work out and everything, and still find time to draw somehow. Because before I couldn't, and now a podcast, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know how I do this. I don't know how it got to be no, so no, good. No, no, <laughs> no. What it means, like, because before this was like a dream to be able to do this kind of things, like you know? po- podcasting. No, well, just oh, you mean all the things that you're doing, like yeah. just everything, working out, and yeah, because before just to do my school every day was hard. I mean, that you know, the whole day I spent doing school. Now I'm doing school, I'm working out, I'm drawing. I'm doing a podcast now. Going to mass every I'm a stay at home yeah. dad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're an independent man <laughs> who can do it without a wife. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> For me, um yeah, I had had basically well not the exact same effect, but 
Yeah. I mean, it will help you learn to be a worker. Like not, worker. Not, not such a, yeah, not to be so self-centered and to, to think about, I mean, everyone's self-centered to, to an well, extent. To an extent, like, I'm pretty sure you and I can name, call out each other and say how self-centered we are about certain things, but, but yeah, it helped me a lot to, to mature, to become more resp- responsible, to look after people other than myself. Yeah. That was that. <laughs> so what do we got to change? Oh, now, to change now. now that we're... Now we're at this level, we have to go to the next level. We have to be always... Well, that's true. We have to yeah. always be... We have to be What's the next? Le- What's the next level? Is being more what, organized, I think. Well, yeah, okay. Just tell me what your goals are, and I'll tell you what my goals are now. My goals. Like... Like in regard to like discipline, responsibility, maturity, like that kind of thing. Yeah, or it's just spiritually, you know, things you want to do, you know, spiritual reading or... I mean, you already do spiritual reading, but I mean like something more you want to do. Just anything. Well, I want to play video games every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, goals. Anyways, <laughs> I want to be more strict on myself when it comes to prayer, when it comes to like meditation. Because I think Fulton Sheen was giving a conference or something like that i don't know and uh he was when he was talking to the religious and and to to the priests uh he was saying that one hour of adoration is i don't know if he was saying that it was necessary but no he was saying that he does an hour of adoration every day he's a bishop man yeah bishop is he doing an hour of adoration every day anyways so you want to do more meditation what I'm adoration. saying, what I'm saying is that is that when he was talking to the priests, mm-hmm. he was saying that this is what you need to do. But he's when but, but he, he said he meditation. Mentioned, he yeah yeah yeah. Well, adoration. You can do whatever you want in adoration. Okay. I mean, not anything. It has to be you know like spiritual reading or. What I'm saying is that in that same talk, okay, if I'm not mistaken, he addresses the laity and mm-hmm. he says that so his recommendation for for priests and religious is an hour of adoration every day. Mm-hmm. He was he was talking to the lady. He was telling the lady. Since we... It's laity, right? Laity. The lady. Actually, because it sounds like lady. Laity. He was addressing the lady. <laughs> Anyways. Laity. That obviously we can't go... Especially because of, like, the corona thing. It's like... Well, yeah, and we have re- other it's hard. It's hard, it's hard to go to, to adoration. We have, I mean, some people it's can. Harder, it's harder, I mean. Some people can, but, like, they would be neglecting some of their responsibilities, you know, their vocation. Mm-hmm. You know. It's hard to go every day. Yeah. It's hard to go every day because, you know, life is busy. And it's hard to get to um, to ador- adoration these days. Anyways, um, so Fulton Sheen was saying, if I'm not mistaken, that 15 minutes of mental prayer in your house every day. That's what I want. Okay. I've been on and yeah. off. I, me? I've been on and off in that. Well, yeah, you just brought up a good point. Like, me- to meditate for things has been the worst for me. I don't know why. Ever since the lockdown or whatever. Like, before that, I was, like, the best in mental prayer. <laughs> you know? At my peak, my prime in mental prayer. And then right after that, you know, when quarantine happened, then... <laughs> <laughs> I was at my prime. But the thing is that the accident. now, like, it's very hard for me to meditate. The only time I can meditate good is when I do talks. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've only done one talk and one podcast, and this is the second podcast, but I didn't have to prepare mm-hmm. for this one. So, I think those things, I mean, I, I'm going to be doing podcasts now, but I have to do more meditation, because it's important. Yeah. It's important. Like, uh, I think Father Ripper talks about meditation and how um, it helps to get rid of, you know, demonic influence, like, especially, like, thought thought tampering if almost all sins or all sins begin in the mind exactly what, so to the way to get rid of that is to fill it with holy things uh-huh. so like he was saying that like basically we, I'm paraphrasing like if God's on your mind the, the demons don't want to be in there like put yeah. put short well my goal, my goals is that so I could do more you know meditation and you know scripture reading I mean, because I do spiritual reading, but I'm, like, half asleep doing my spiritual reading. But has to, it has to be first thing. Yeah. It has to be first thing or else. 
Yeah, so I, my goal was to wake up earlier and go to sleep earlier, but <laughs> today it's like super Today's late. the exception. Yeah. Because, I mean, normally I... Normally he wouldn't have done this because... I wouldn't have done this. He would have been, t- like, asleep already. T- too tired or whatever. I mean, but I just drank a bunch of coffee. And talking like this is, like, making me calm. Tell us if you want David back on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll order him another coffee. Okay, you're paying, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you heard that, everyone. He's paying. Yeah. It's on tape, so... <laughs> well, anyways... Yeah, to wake... I want to wake up earlier. I want to wake up at... Me too, at least man. six. I, I kind of wake up a little bit early, but... I want to wake up, like, five okay. every day. Well, I want to wake up at six. Because I've been waking up at, like, at eight. Dang, man. All right, I was working Jocko up... Jocko Willink would <laughs> spit in your face. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't listen to Jocko Willink. And... Do you... Do you... And I noticed that... A lot of the things he says, I'm doing, except for waking up early. It's horrible. Horrible. It, it just ruins the rest. So, yeah, I want to wake up earlier. Do your Jocko voice for us, please. Okay. Wait, yet, first, yet, first I have to, wait, you have to be right next to the microphone. I have to be more silent. Ask me a question. Pretend to be Echo Charles. <laughs> Echo Charles? How, he has like a higher pitched voice, like, but I don't I don't listen to it often, so like, okay, fine. I don't know what kinds of things he says. He just asked me a question, like, you're just a random guy, or like, or like he's reading like YouTube comments, or mm-hmm. is that YouTube con- comments that he reads, like, uh, I don't know, um, something ridiculous just to lighten the mood. <laughs> uh, H2O wedgie comments or comments, or I don't know how his voice is. I don't know. Just anything. Uh, Any voice. Whenever, whenever I try to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, it's just too hard. I'm hungry, but it takes too long. What, what advice do you have for a guy like me? That was uh, H2O Wedgie on YouTube. Well, are you disciplined? Are you waking up at 4.30 a.m. in the morning every day? First of all, H2O Wedgie sounds like a very insecure name. So, you're not... Obviously, you're not waking up in the morning. You're not doing what you gotta do. It's like I always say, discipline equals freedom. You wanna get up in the morning? Make your peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> well, get up and make it. Own it. Any uh, last um, thoughts? Um, I mean, if we're if we post this, I don't know if you like if anybody likes this. Then yeah, if you if you like this format, which is just just conversation, just conversation. I mean, and we're our- we're kind of like this is kind of like an introduction. We named our faults and our... Exactly, our introduction. Kind of like how we are, I guess. Yeah, and if... Uh, we'll put in the comments if you like... If anybody show, watches this. If yeah. you like this format, if anybody watches this show... <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you like this format, it's uh, just conversation. Thanks for being on the show.